Also, who knows what's watching this? Halo YouTubes. I'm Grimwit. With me is Doom Lad. This is uh, Spectacle. Howdy. All right. <laughs> um. Yeah, but I am getting tired, so this will be the last hour I do this tonight, and then whatever session. I guess we'll try and do. Cause this works best if we kick it out as quickly as possible. So, are you are you up for this tomorrow? Yeah, yeah sure. All right, then. Yeah, all right. I'll probably be able to be home by seven thirty and finish dinner, hopefully. Or okay. I can just eat it down here. Oh, which, which which whichever works, we'll work it out tomorrow. But then, yeah, the best way to do these things is to get them all done and out of the way as quickly as possible. If I had thinking about it, you know what? If only we had like dedicated a day to this, it just be like put aside yeah. twelve hours. We're gonna go on a marathon. <laughs> <laughs> it, it probably. Yeah, I think it tends to work better if we have a chance to sleep in between. You think? Helps clear up the mind. Yeah. If you keep pounding at it for several hours, you just blah. Oh, I have seen things, man. I've seen people who will. Let me go into this cave. I've seen people who will like run for twelve-hour streams and be like, "Let's see how far we can get in Baldur's Baldur's Gate three or something like that." Yep. What? As you step into the giant boulder, it comes crashing down on you, and you. Yep. Catch Fucking damn it. You, every bone in your body is crushed and you die an agonizing death. Well, it did warn us. Did it? Yeah. Did it? I don't remember it warning us. It said that open sesame may open the passages, but death will likely wait behind you, behind, beyond them or something. I thought it was being poetic. Yeah. Yeah. I assumed it would mean that we'd be dealing with traps in a room or two. Yeah. Dang. That made a lot of sense. Yeah. What I thought was going to happen too. Use a sacred bow. But I guess it's sacred and we got to use it for other things. Maybe we need the spear? Okay, here we go. Here's this guy. We need to bribe him with something. A sacred bow, maybe? Odd keeper from abandoning its post, protecting what remains of our dear kin. Okay, it won't tempt the odd keeper. Maybe I need the jewel. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. Oh, you want to try using the uh, food oh. on the... Oh, nice. Huh. All right. You wrestled the pole arm from the statue's hand and decided to take it with you. I thought it was going to be more difficult than that, but no. Yeah. I wonder if that'll open up the cave. Or, like, prop it open, yeah. Yeah. Or something. That isn't what you need right now. God damn it. Yeah. We could use the pole arm to get either the fruit or the bottle or both. Yeah, probably. Oh, do you want to go and grab them or do you want to finish exploring this area? Um, I, I feel like we've seen everything. Oh, there was that building off past the uh, cave. If we go south here. Oh, yeah, we can't go south. That's right. Yeah, we need some way of getting past this, which I assume... Yeah. Huh. Okay, so, quick question. Uh, if I use Polytheme here, what'll happen? Um, use Polytheme. You 
fly through the air and land in the middle of the endless desert, you'll never find civilization again. Yep. So, okay, I gotta do it at the foot. Yep. Good to know. All right, let's start trying to collect shit with this pole arm. The pole arm is almost long enough to reach, but it's still too far and unwieldy to cut the stem. Fucking Christ! <laughs> Whoa! Ah! Uh, Damn it! Was. <laughs> it's so frustrating. Yep. Alright, well, there's still that bottle. Yep. Hopefully it's not too unwieldy to cut the bottle. This isn't what okay. you need right now. What? what? Oh, hey, we also have this blue key. Yep. A key as blue and calming as the sea. Hmm. What's the red key look like, then? A ruby red key. No. Oh! This key! This key is how we deal with the, uh... No? Very deep in the southern land, its contents now hidden. Okay, yeah, all right. The gem is definitely meant for that statue. Gotta be. Yep. Getting the gem, well, we, we don't even know where the lock is that that key goes to, but we know that that ruby key is for the lock of getting the gem. That's 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 done. Yep. Um, blue key, blue key. There's no keyhole in the monastery door. Right? Yeah. Uh, I want this bottle. I want that fruit. <laughs> Can we attack this this little guy? Attack him. Get him. No. Yeah. No. That is a great picture right there. So. Yeah. You telling me that the guy who worked on Shadowgate uh, is hilarious because uh, the, if he's the original Mac Venture guy who did sh the Shadowgates and Deja Vu and all that. I don't think he is, although he might be working with the original guys. Maybe he's working with him then. All right. Um, this probably won't do anything, but that doesn't work. If it's the original guy, this makes more sense because he also designed the uh, Nintendo version, I'm pretty sure. Yep. I don't even know where I'm going, dude. Yeah. I'm just kind of wandering back to that blue book, see if I can notice a clue that I maybe missed the first time. I feel like we've already made use of that book. Maybe. Yeah. We've already made use of this book. Hmm. This place is more, sp it feels more sprawling. I should say open-ended than Shadowgate did. Yep. Wonder why. Um, we don't have a shovel. 
We have a decorated plate. I'm not sure why. We also have an abacus. Still sit on it. Yeah. Um, we have an open boulder that I'm afraid to walk into. Um, can I stop time? Did it not say that it doesn't actually stop time if you if you cast uh, overload clock? Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't stop time. It just stops hours. I wonder if I even needed that. Like, the plate might mean nothing. Yeah. What is that? Okay, no, it's just part of the scenery. Which is really good yep. design. Oh, you want to try using your saber on it or pole arm or something? Pole arm, definitely. Nope. <laughs> that didn't work. Nope. We might not be built for battle here. Yeah, I don't think we're built for battle here. Yep. I don't know, it makes a lot of sense for, to me to just randomly stab into the water. <laughs> the palace way over there. I'm now at that point where it's, okay, it's time to just start rubbing everything on everything else. Yep. Make it structure. Well, you want to try open sesame on it? Uh, I think I did. But I don't mind trying it again. On the structure. No. Yep. No, I think open sesame is really just meant for that boulder as a one-off thing. Because that, that's... I, I believe that's actually yep. from... Uh, Shaharazad's original tales, right? His open sesame was. Yeah, it could be. Can you pick up those little bits of fruit? Let's try it. No. But they are there. They're just not something I can interact yep. with. What do we do here? Yeah, that's a big no. Um... We never used the sun coin. So what happens if you throw Yeah, the... we haven't used it yet. Did we use it? Did, did I... No, we haven't used it yet. We threw the moon coin into the well. I honestly yep. think, didn't we put the sun coin into the chalice and that's what called forth? Oh. The chalice was already on fire. I think just interacting with it might have been what called forth the creature. Huh. Okay. Um... So that's a trap, and putting a plate over my head will not... Well, it's a decorative plate. Maybe if I use it on myself. No. <laughs> use sacred bow self. So. 
I have no idea what the abacus would be for. Um, there's that red star again. Hell. Use polearm on self. Okay, that's impossible. How? <laughs> you can't stab yourself at the end of a spear. I think they just need to get creative. Dude, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know either. Oh, that was a mistake. Um... The thing is, is that there's no more clues, right? All the clues are on the other side of the desert. Yep. And although it says we need a shovel, I know that it actually doesn't mean that. I got so many, I got so many questions. Yeah. And like, I don't, I don't see much in the way of moon logic yet. Cause all point and click adventures have some level of moon logic, right? Yep. Part of the tradition. Part of the tradition. Um, we took his thing. I'm guessing we're done with this guy. Yeah, for now at least. We have an alligator. Oh, that bat was yellow. Yeah, yeah, it was like a yellow bat. So we saw we saw a red one. I think the red bird or whatever on the other side. Now, what happens if you examine the water? Let's see. No, oh, it's just the the description oh, wow. of the room. Um, I don't suppose using the key on the water does anything. No. I have too many keys and not enough locks. I don't think we've yep. seen one lock. Not a single lock. All right. Did this happen with Shadowgate when we went through it? I don't remember. I think we went through Shadowgate a lot faster because we had a lot of ideas. But then the second one, we definitely hit some roadblocks. Or the uh, remake or whatever. Yeah, the remake we hit roadblocks and then having Captain around was, was actually really useful because he kept telling us to destroy things and that turned out to be the right answer. <laughs> well. Alright. Let me start using the saber on shit. Well. Violence isn't the answer. Violence is the question and the answer is yes. The answer is always yes. Well, okay. The saber and the polearm on the monster, that didn't do dick. Um. Yeah. Oh, oh, we're south of the palace. There should be some place to repair the broken instrument, right? Yeah. Uh, I wonder if that's what the tower is. Maybe. Maybe. Which brings us back to the boulder, though. Like, yeah. I'm pretty sure giving the instrument to the statue isn't going to do shit. But while we're here... No. Um. Damn it! I hate I, I hate this point of the games where I'm just like I don't know, man. Yeah. Comes and goes. Um. Yeah. Part of the problem is if you assume you can't do something, and you get easily stuck. And that's where you end up with the rub things on other things to see what would happen, because yeah. you... 
Like, well, there's nothing that says that rubbing the Rosetta Stone on the statue won't do something, right? So we could try it, but that's that. There's nothing that says it would be that. Like a proper yep. one of these puzzle games has at least one clue, even if we haven't found it. A one clue that says, "Oh yeah, no, you should use the Rosetta Stone as a shovel." Yep. There's a lot of places to dig around here. I'm seeing those those little cracks in the ground. Yeah. I could just try walking in there. Like, maybe the guy is friendly if I don't just, like, try to talk to him or approach him or anything. What if I, I, just... I think... Well, that's true. You've never tried. <laughs> no, no, that didn't work. on guard 24 7 yeah it really is i mean i've never seen this thing sleep oh maybe we gotta wait for it to sleep okay it's still awake Okay, it's still still awake. Does this thing ever sleep? <laughs> Apparently not. Okay, this thing does not sleep. <laughs> cool. I guess... What am I seeing here? Oh, interesting. You can only enter the desert from where there's a foot. Nope. It doesn't let you here. Yeah, alright. I asked for that. Dude, what? What now? I don't know. I'll try Alakazam on it. See if there's another secret passage. That spell has no effect. Nope. Let me try something. So what happens if I open it and then examine it? It just says the cave entrance is open. Many people have traveled. Wait, wait! Okay, okay, no, look. The path yep. shows where many people have traveled, to, but it doesn't necessarily go to there. It goes over here. Yep. Oh! <laughs> I am the ultimate Perfect. male. <laughs> yep. Many cavens block the main entrance to this cave, which was once used by thieves to sneak into the tower above. This is this ancient ladder leads up to the base of the tower. Yeah, I, I actually one day I'm gonna click on one of these. Like it's clearly a ladder, and it will just have like first line this, second line is a ladder. <laughs> Ooh, hey, a shovel. I want that shovel. Hi. Yeah. Worn down shovel, but it's still usable. It appears to be all that remains from an expedition. Are those... Stonework suggests this is the foundation of the tower. Likely used as a cellar. There's a door that enters the tower proper. Hey, we have a book. Large Green book on book. the table. All right, let me open it up. Thief's Diary. Oak. We oh. overheard the ta a tale of a star falling from the heavens in the night sky. When viewed from the highest point, we climbed on high, but we suppose ours were not the eyes meant to witness such splendor. I have grown to hate this place, 
we've suffered. Attrition by boulders, scorpions, snakes, and even loose rungs. Just about enough of this tower. It is so corrupted. Yeah, but there's also, like, beer, and that counts for something. Storage areas nope. from barrels might be wine. Uh, that's not something you can take. Let's open the wine bottles. They won't open. Aw. <laughs> appears to be okay where are the scorpions where are those scorpions at there's an unlocked trap door on the floor oh uh before we do that shelf is empty but the wall feels hollow you just have to figure out how to access it this is a ladder yep that's for one of the rungs Take the rung. That's something you can take. Use the rung. Hey! You grab the nope. loose rung and it slides... Uh, and slide it to the side, revealing a secret compartment behind the shelf. What is this thing? A flute! Now we have two instruments! Oh, no. Yeah. Now we have a flute! What did we need the music instruments for? I have no fucking clue. Like she said at the beginning, but I don't remember. No. Blah, 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 music instruments, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. You grab the handle and lift the trap door, revealing a hole. Hang on a second. I've played Shadowgate. Just gonna do that to kind of save my spot and also save it in, in re IRL. All right, let's you move to- examine down the trap door? Uh, I can. You can see into the cavernous room below with many skulls. It looks quite the, like quite the drop. This is a trap. But also, like, I can do it, and therefore I must. <laughs> yep. You tumble into the trap door, you fall and die into the darkness below. Cool. See, okay, my my thinking, though, was that if I would not gone back to the previous room and back here, that it would have reset the flute, and I didn't want to do that. Yeah. Oh, hey, it's, it's what's-her-face. Hi. Medea? Was that her name? There is a figure in the room with you. I don't remember. I tried to steal your dress. It wouldn't let me put your dress on. It would have been hilarious figure in the room with you. It's also like a little mushroom here. Such a magnificent tower. It must have been home to quite a few treasures at this at one point. Alright, I guess we'll talk to her. Oh. You're, you're up. Yep. You are quite clever to have made it this far. This tower holds great significance to the kingdom. In these final years, it saw only tragedy when our young prince was lured here by that awful wizard. The child's death was too much and weakened the king's resolve, enabling the groundworks for the curse to return. The chaos and confusion was a veil under which the evil one stole the magic lamp. The genie within, through cunning, condemned the usurper to rule over an otherworldly spectacle with only enough magic to bring about awe and simple admiration. But even now, in his limited capacity, he is regaining his powers, and soon he will do to your land what he has done to mine. And she just leaves. Take her clothes. Take her clothes! <laughs> She's just leaving behind piles of clothes everywhere she goes. If I go to that other palace, yep. I guarantee there's going to be a second pile of clothes. Nope. That's her magic ability to create clothes. <laughs> that's, just, that's what she's doing. Oh, shit. Um. It's still not safe to go past? Yeah, okay. Nope. Seems like a shame, but alright. 
Uh, I'm sure we we missed a death scene there. But yeah. the oh, answer, no. yeah, well, the answer to this problem was so bloody obvious. Yep. I, with are there people like maybe maybe youngins, maybe like Gen Zers, Gen Zers might not have known what to do because maybe yep. they didn't know the cliche of of I don't know. I don't know who was this puzzle for. Take the snake. Take the snake. Damn it. <laughs> Why am I here? What am I doing with my life? <laughs> the view from this height is incredible. You can see parts of both northern and southern lands. Um. Okay. Cool. I have a shovel now. Um, I could go digging. No. So, top of the tower, clearly used for something. Yeah, I think we're going to need bring, like, a telescope here or something. That might be true. And if we had a rope, we might be able to get down to that one dark room. That's true. Although it's just full of skulls. What did he say? He said there were, Yeah, he said there was problems in the tower. One of them was the snake. One of them was the uh, rung on the ladder. What was the third one? A scorpion? In the green book. A scorpion. Yeah, I have time, so let me just move on down. Yeah, so the scorpion would probably be down there once we get the rope. Can I close it? No, I can't. I can't close it. No. Let me see. Uh, this view from the highest point. I'm tired. It was supposed. To... I'm not going to have splendor. I have grown to hate this place. We have to wait. We overheard a tale of a star falling from the heavens in the night sky when viewed from the highest point. It's probably that red star. That's what I'm actually there for. Yeah, it could be. Boulders, we've done that. Scorpions, we haven't done that. Snakes, we've done that. And a loose ladder run. Nope. What time is it? Okay. Um, night falls at... Like, what is it? 20, 20 hours? So... Uh, it is currently 16.30... Now it's oh. 17. 1730. 18. 1830. Not quite. Oh. Oh, apparently that was close enough. A beautiful shooting star falls to the earth and crashes into the ground with a deafening crash. So it crashes with a crash. A deafening crash. Oh. It sounded like the impact was close. Well, let's get yep. moving. I thought, yeah, I thought it was going to be more time reliant. Although I would like to see... Red star? Yeah. Yeah, I would like to see if the red star shows up. Or the moon or something. I want to see the moon rise from here, so... Well, now if I do that... Over. Yep, there's the moon, but no red star. Oh, I see. That's like the ocean or something. Yep. And it's reflecting the, the stars. I still want to see that red star. Okay, yeah, it's definitely there. There it is. Alright. Let's get on out here. I like the music. I was kind of hoping that it would have landed on the beast. <laughs> yeah. Oh! Oh. Wait, what's that purple thing? I see it too. It looks like a piece of the meteor fell off when it crashed into the ground. Well, let's take, get to taking it. Meteor shard. You, with hesitation, you reach out and grab the shard of meteorite. As you touch it, you feel a jolt of power that scares you. Still, you decide to take the gem with you. Oh! Lightning meteor. No, it's the celestial gem. 
The cosmic gem. Oh. Huh. Yep. Uh, that that doesn't look healthy. Meteor glows with a dangerous energy. You can feel the heat from several feet away. Well, let's let's just leave that the hell alone for now. Yep. Use shovel. As soon as you ship, God fucking damn it. <laughs> well. Grave Digger. I've been listening a lot to Vengeant, which is a... He has a habit of taking sounds that just happen naturally, and he listened to a laser, and then he started taking samples of the laser, and he made a song called Laser Grave. And I don't know why this is what... This reminds me of Laser Grave. Yep. I'm dead. Mm -hmm. What if what if I use shovel here? That isn't what you need right now. Okay. Okay. Here's a here's a shovel place, a shoveling place. Hey, we dig up soft soil and uncover a buried chest. It's a sturdy chest locked with a keyhole with a red trim around it. Well, gosh, I wonder which key we use. Could be any of them. Yeah. The key unlocks the old chest with a click and its contents are ready to be plundered. Well, you know, just take it. Just take it. Uh, you take the gem in hand. I got a bloth a blothany gem? Bloth Is that a real thing? Blothany? Hmm. I don't know. And scroll three! Scroll three. Finally, the trilogy is complete. Damn this. Notes of the Vizier 3. For my third task, I have been honored to safeguard the greatest treasure of our king, his beloved lamp. It is well hidden and guarded with the utmost measures. A place wrought with pure darkness and sen sentinel. sent sentinel by an apparition. The lust for wind that shall snuff out any flame and give pause to all but the one who dons the king's sacred mantle. Huh. So we have this blothy gem. A gem unlike any you've ever seen. St staring at it, you can s swear you see the cosmos. Huh. Wasn't it the meteor shard that we wanted to use on it? Yeah, I know, but like another cosmic gem. Fair enough. Now, none of this works. Hmm. Is the monster the guardian, I wonder? Nope. I figured it was worth a try to try. Or worth something to try. Yep. Okay, so the Blothny gem has the cosmos in it. So now it's... Hidden jewel will not tempt the odd keeper from abandoning its post to protecting what remains of our dear king. Like, it feels like that monster is the odd keeper. Maybe? Perhaps. Because the... Okay, it's true that the, uh, the stone statue looks like it's guarding something and so you'd think that would be the entrance I didn't see a place to put a gem yeah yeah and I already stole his weapon but more more appropriately I didn't I don't see I 
Although it does make sense that it'd be here, right? It doesn't seem like a timed thing either. Yep. Baldachin Tomb. This is it. Okay, this is absolutely it. Oh. Yeah, Baldachin Gem, Baldachin Tomb. Oh, no, wait, it's Blothany Gem. So it's not the same. But when we look into it, it says you can swear you see the cosmos, which makes yep. it the cosmic gem. But where do you put it? I don't know. Let's just start rubbing it on everything. Put it on the grass, throw it in the water, put it on the roof, <laughs> rub it on this leaf. Huh. Huh. Well, now I'm... Hmm. It does feel like we have... It does feel like we have the pieces to the puzzle. I just don't know how to fit together. Yep. Okay. Um... Is there anything that I have that I can use in the previous land? Because we still are missing a bottle and a piece of fruit. Um... Yep. What is up with this meteor shard? It's fallen from space. That's it. It's just a space shard. Oh, I think it's cooled off Whoa. now. Nice. Looks like it hit the ground with amazing force. Um, you know, while I'm here, use shovel. And there's a little spot here. Okay, we'll use the shovel on the meteor. Oh well. Use the pole arm on the meteor. This is like what QA testers do. <laughs> order one beer. Order yep. infinity beers. Order negative four beers. <laughs> yep. Now, I think, uh... I think getting what the... happens if we just put the meteor shard in the meteor? That's a good point. No, that doesn't work. Yeah. I have no idea what's up with the meteor shard, honestly. Yeah. So... I mean, we could try prying some more out of it with the saber or something. So, left or... That's a good point. Know. Um... The saber might be a red herring, thinking about it. So, all right, yeah. we have a piece of fruit we haven't got, we have a bottle we haven't got, we have a door we haven't opened. That's all on the northern lands. In the southern lands, yep. we have... Um, I think climbing to the top of the tower was just to summon the meteor, right? That's got to be what that was for. Yeah. Um, so that means we have a monster that won't die. Um, we have a crocodile that won't let us swim. Which, actually, that just might be... We gotta find some way to cross. Right? Um, we have a tomb that won't open. So we have six things yep. that we don't know what to deal with. Yeah. I think. I think that's right. Well... My guess is this area, the tomb. My guess is this is the next spot to do stuff in.
Okay. What if we just put, like, drop the gym somewhere? Gonna try dropping it in front of the cave? That's possible. What I was thinking of is, it says it will not tempt him from abandoning his post. I don't think it's a bribe, yeah. I think it's something that you do to get the statue to move away from its post. Maybe? Yeah, maybe. I mean, if you put it on that loose dirt, maybe the statue would fall off the cliff. Oh! Wait. Ooh, it's glowing again. Heat from several feet away. So, it well, glows it at night. at night. Yeah. Which actually means that the meteor shard itself <clears throat> heats up at night. I wonder how we can use that. No. Maybe not. Mm. Um. I don't rec recall any place to put a gym in the tower. Yeah, I don't remember that either. Quick look around the tower. Maybe I missed a spell. Although I was looking for spells the entire time. Yep. Use the Blothy gym on the pit. Nope. Rub everything on everything else. Put things on things. Things on things. To get things. To put things on things. Jason's climb. Fingernail of Gaia. What does that mean? Yeah, like the highest point in the world, maybe. The sunrise starts at 3 o'clock in the morning. That's a hell of a sunrise. It takes four hours for the sun to rise. Well. Although, bravo on them, because it means that the people who made the game, whoever it was, um, they made a background sky of, like, the sun rising oh, and the moon rising and just general an animation, right? Let's yep. see, 24 hours, um, but also 30 minute points, so... That's two per hour, so that's 48. There, so there are 48 images yep. of animated, which you see when the screen is loading. I just realized that's what that is. Yep. That's, that's all right, that's pretty clever. Well, I think my brain has turned significantly to mush. I'm getting out of this tower saving and I'm just calling it a night. Okay, when I said, God fucking <laughs> damn it. <laughs> Yeah, that's what Brain Mush does. Climb down the tower so you always click down, right? Clicking down is always yep. the way to get out of the tower. Okay, I'm gonna save at the, um, the tomb, because I'm pretty sure that's the next spot. Yep. This has got to be the next place, but save. And we'll attack this again tomorrow. So I guess I'll see you at what, like 7.30, 8, 8 o'clock? Yeah, 7.30 probably. Okay. I'll start it at 7.30. If I don't show up, maybe 8. 
All right. Um, well, I'll just wait for you for before the stream, and then we can try and conquer this game. All right. Yep. Uh, yes, I want to quit. And actually, I'm going to load just because I want to see if I'm right that that animation is uh, the load screen. So play game, load. Yeah, that's yep. absolutely what it is. You can even see the red star of the moon rising. Yep. So yeah, okay. Okay. Well, that's good enough for me. So I'm going to stop the streams, stop the recording, stop the everything, and uh, and say goodnight to everyone. I guess say goodnight, Doomlad. Uh, goodnight. Alright, goodnight to everyone. Ah. <sighs>